What is up guys, Carl here. Today we're having a quick look at some micro pliers from engineering. These are some pliers that I found on Amazon and uh, I thought it would be a good thing to try out since I found that most pliers you can get at home improvement stores and such, they don't quite hold their sharpness and don't feel that good in your hand. So these are the the PS03 if it will focus PS03 ESD safe grip long nose pliers so rubbery grip all metal inside and these are the NP05 ESD safe micro nippers so snippers, nippers close cutters, whatever you want to call them with a flat bottom so you can cut close to circuit boards and such uh, if we compare these ones so you can see they're made in made in Japan probably too much reflection from light but if we compare those to some I don't know four bucks on Banggood um, if we just compare the snippers here so as you can see the thickness of the actual cutter head is a lot bigger on the engineering one and the construction feels a lot ni nicer the, the grip is about the same even though the engineering looks quite cool and you can also fasten some loops here I think they even have a um, a picture of that on the box which I don't have anymore and these ones have a a spring in the handle I don't know I think I glued these ones together because these kept slipping away so they aren't fastened in any way the rubbery part so when you start using them they'll slide down slowly and you just have to push it up but still that's annoying when trying to cut they use a a bend so something oh, come on something inside the the handle here you can see the the spring lever thing that will go oh bend when you push it in these guys use a spring can we get a good picture of that yeah they use a spring and feel quite nice as you push them together and um, this one has a a um, stop which is that far but what I found just when I was making a video of the long nose plier is that this one actually goes further than the spring resulting in if you didn't notice that you'll push it in and then start bending the spring which was what happened you can push it in but I know that might be a design flaw because I don't know you throw it down and the spring goes out and then you start plying things of course you'll feel the spring springs back a bit but you can't close it and by then you already bent the spring isn't a huge deal but I would a version 2 of this would probably need to have a stop so you can open or a longer spring same kind of a uh, rubbery, hard rubbery feel to the long nose pliers. These ones don't have any knurls or edges. They're all flat in here, which can be good, can be bad. It doesn't have the same grip as a knurled one, but it won't damage any parts you try to get in the same way as a knurled one would. And uh, don't have any other long nose pliers currently so can't compare to any but quite thin if we compare that to a XT60 connector you can slide it in almost all the way if you wanna hold the XT60 in some sort of kind of way and they are pretty strong I mean the XT60 won't break anytime soon do we have anything else not really but a bolt you can grip it 
And this is probably where you want the knurls, because if I start gripping it, it will, if I nudge it slowly, it will start sliding out away, which the knurl one wouldn't. Isn't a huge deal, but still something to note. If we compare the cutting force, so these are some of the, I don't know what they're called, but um, the regular header pins that you solder. So if we try to cut with this one, not too bad. It's about the same, I would say. Maybe this one felt a bit better, but I don't know if you're able to see that, but the edge is going off on this one. So I don't know how long it will be, be sharp for. But I feel like this one will stay sharp a long time. Haven't seen any damage to it. And if we compare how close we can get. So let's start with the same, the blue one. To get as close as possible. Of course this has an edge, maybe I should do it on this side. That's pretty pretty much flush but still there's probably half a millimeter and if we try this one that one cut just a tiny bit it's probably not in focus with this cell phone camera hopefully you can see but the engineering one cut about half of the half millimeter or so 0 0.25 millimeters isn't a huge deal but still something to note so yeah the cuts are about the same quality so to say so that's a short little video on the engineering micro nippers and long nose pliers thank you and I will see you next time